Recovery after working out is crucial to help your body repair and adapt to the stress of exercise. Here are some top ways to promote effective recovery. Welcome back to another exciting video from Fit Flourish Fever. Today's video is about top ways for recovery after working out. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Hydration. Drink plenty of water before, during, and after your workout to stay properly hydrated. Dehydration can impair your body's ability to recover. Hydration is vital for many bodily functions, including muscle function and recovery. To determine your hydration needs, monitor your urine color. Pale yellow indicates proper hydration, while darker yellow or amber may indicate dehydration. Drink water throughout the day, not just during your workout. Aim for about 8 to 10 cups, 64 to 80 ounces, daily, but individual needs vary based on activity level, climate, and body size. Nutrition Consume a balanced post-workout meal or snack rich in carbohydrates and protein. Carbohydrates replenish glycogen stores and protein aids in muscle repair and growth. Post-workout nutrition is often referred to as the anabolic window. It's a period of heightened nutrient uptake where your muscles are more receptive to nutrients. A recommended post-workout meal could include chicken breast, quinoa, and vegetables, providing protein, carbohydrates, and micronutrients. Consider a protein shake with a 2 to 1 ratio of carbohydrates to protein for quick recovery. Rest. Allow your body to rest and recover by getting enough sleep each night. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep to support the healing process. During deep sleep, your body releases growth hormone, which aids in tissue repair and muscle growth. Sleep deprivation can lead to increased cortisol levels, a stress hormone that can hinder recovery and promote muscle breakdown. Create a sleep-conducive environment with a comfortable mattress, blackout curtains, and a cool room temperature. Active Recovery Engage in light, low-impact activities like walking, cycling, or swimming on rest days. Active recovery helps improve blood flow to muscles and reduces muscle stiffness. Low-intensity activities enhance circulation, which helps remove waste products from your muscles. Activities like gentle yoga, swimming, or cycling at a slow pace can be effective forms of active recovery. Stretching. Incorporate static stretching and dynamic stretching into your routine. Stretching helps improve flexibility and reduce muscle soreness. Static stretching involves holding a stretch for an extended period, helping to increase flexibility. Dynamic stretching involves controlled movements that mimic your exercise routine and improve joint mobility. Incorporate both types into your pre- and post-workout routines. Foam rolling. Use a foam roller or massage stick to perform self-myofacial release. This can help alleviate muscle knots, improve circulation, and reduce muscle tightness. Foam rolling applies pressure to muscle knots, known as trigger points, to release tension and improve blood flow. Roll slowly and spend extra time on tight spots, but avoid rolling directly over bones or joints. Ice bath or contrast baths. Some athletes use ice baths or contrast baths, alternating between hot and cold water, to reduce inflammation and muscle soreness. These methods can be intense, so consult a professional before trying them. Ice baths, cryotherapy, involve submerging your body in cold water around 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 to 15 degrees Celsius for a brief period. Contrast baths alternate between hot and cold water, typically spending two to three minutes in each. These methods may reduce inflammation, but they can be uncomfortable, so use them cautiously. Nutritional supplements. Consider supplements like branched chain amino acids, BCAAs, creatine, and glutamine, which may support muscle recovery and reduce muscle soreness. Consult a healthcare professional before adding supplements to your routine. Branched chain amino acids, BCAAs, may aid in reducing muscle soreness and supporting muscle protein synthesis. Creatine can help increase muscle mass and strength, but it's essential to follow recommended dosages. Glutamine may promote muscle recovery and reduce muscle soreness. Proper warm-up and cool-down. Always warm up before your workout with dynamic stretches or light aerobic activity. 
After your workout, perform a cool down with stretching to ease your body out of exercise mode. A warm up prepares your body for exercise by increasing heart rate and blood flow to muscles. A cool down gradually lowers your heart rate and helps remove waste products from your muscles. Include dynamic stretches like leg swings and arm circles in your warm up and static stretches in your cool down. Compression garments. Some athletes find relief from muscle soreness and swelling by compression garments earring like sleeves or socks. Compression garments like sleeves or socks apply gentle pressure to improve circulation, reduce muscle soreness, and help with recovery. They are particularly popular among endurance athletes for eye post exercise recover. Epsom salt baths. Soaking in a warm bath with Epsom salt can help relax muscles and relieve soreness. The magnesium in Epsom salt may also aid in muscle recovery. Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, baths can help relax muscles and alleviate soreness. The magnesium in Epsom salt may also support muscle function and reduce inflammation. Mental recovery. Don't underestimate the importance of mental recovery. Relaxation techniques like meditation, deep breathing, or yoga can help reduce stress and improve overall recovery. Mental stress can hinder physical recovery. Practices like mindfulness meditation, progressive muscle relaxation, and deep breathing exercises can help manage stress and improve sleep quality. Aim for at least 10 to 20 minutes of daily meditation or relaxation exercises. Listen to your body. Pay attention to your body's signals. If you're feeling extremely fatigued or sore, it's okay to take an extra rest day or modify your workout intensity. Pay attention to signals of overtraining, such as persistent fatigue, mood changes, or chronic soreness. Don't push yourself too hard. It's crucial to give your body time to recover adequately. Professional guidance. If you're unsure about your recovery needs or have specific concerns, consider consulting a sports medicine professional, physical therapist, or a certified athletic trainer for personalized advice. Consider consulting a sports medicine specialist, physical therapist, or certified athletic trainer to develop a personalized recovery plan. They can assess your unique needs and provide guidance on optimizing your recovery routine. Consistency. Consistency in your recovery practices is key. Make them a routine part of your fitness regimen to optimize your performance and minimize the risk of injury. The key to effective recovery is consistency. Incorporate these practices into your daily or weekly routine to see long-term benefits. Make adjustments as needed based on your fitness goals, progress, and any changes in your physical condition. Remember that recovery needs can vary from person to person and can depend on factors like the intensity of your workouts, your fitness level, and your overall health. Listen to your body and don't hesitate to adjust your recovery strategies as needed. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.